slime. Slime in your mouth? No, I am slime. You're slime? I'm the slime queen. You're the slime queen? I am the one. mom Connie and today is a really big day for for Kayla I was gonna say S but it's actually for her you've already done this oh I got it over with <laughs> what are you gonna get done Kayla I'm gonna get my wisdom teeth pulled I want it oh. I'm not scared but I'm nervous I'm nervous for what I'm gonna say afterwards and what I'm gonna feel like afterwards. I'm not nervous for the before part, the shot, or the actual surgery. I'm just scared for what is gonna happen after the surgery. <laughs> like She's afraid my, of being goofy, I yeah, think. Yeah, like, is my head gonna hurt? Am I not gonna be able to see straight? Am I gonna be like, talking about weird stuff? <laughs> Let's hope she talks about some weird stuff, because that would be funny, right? Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> some people getting their wisdom teeth like not actually getting their wisdom teeth pulled but like the stuff they said afterwards <laughs> and like I watched this one channel and there was like you could be really emotional really tired or just really chatty and so most of the people I watched were chatty but some of them were like emotional so they're like crying about random things so I'm wondering if I'm gonna be like that I hope not cuz I'll probably <laughs> fall right into it and be like oh baby don't be sad right now She's getting dressed, um, and then I think you just gotta brush your teeth. I can't she, find my right. Um, I can't find my left shoe. She's got two right shoes down here, which is an issue. And I guess if it comes down to it, she'll wear them both. But hopefully, she'll find her other shoe so we can go. She can't eat anything. They said no food after eight hours. So basically, she had one more uh, snack before she went to bed last night. But the appointment isn't until noon today, so that kind of makes it stretch out even longer. So we let her stay up a little bit late so that she can have one final meal. She's not allowed to have water. I had ramen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so are you hungry or anything right now? I was when I woke up, but now I don't really care. Okay, so she passed her hunger pains, and <laughs> we're just going to head out there in another hour. I probably won't even realize I'm sleeping. I'll just be like, blink, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wish her luck. Uh, why would you wish me luck? That's going to make me feel like I don't know. Uh, okay, she doesn't need any luck. This is a no-brainer. Okay. She's going, and it's going to be so fast and easy. And, and then I get to come home and sleep. <laughs> but she has to get it done because she's at the very end of her braces and she was only going to wear them for a couple more months and if we took them off without getting the wisdoms pulled, the wisdoms would start pushing them crooked again. So basically it's called impacting and they're smashing up against her back molars and it's actually created... So basically the wisdom so, tooth is going this way instead of going straight up so it's moving this tooth to go this way. They're turning because her mouth is so small that they're curving around the back of her jaw so they need to get them out of the way so that her normal teeth are going to stay straight. So here we go. Morning. Morning. So we're on our way out. As you guys can see, there's caution tape because we didn't want Kayla to forget and get some food in the morning without us knowing. That one fell. I didn't take that one down. I thought that was a hint for me that I might be putting on a few pounds or something, but okay, now that makes sense. It was for Kayla, okay. You put it on my door too. I, th I thought I would just, yeah. Just what if you like went to the bathroom and tried to get water? I don't know. I don't know why you would do that, you. But <laughs> you never Can't know. drink from the toilet or something? Well, like if all else failed, you know, at least that would have reminded her the second she got out the, the bedroom door. So, Good job, mom. Yeah. It would work for me for sure. Yeah. So we're gonna be heading out right now. I don't know where Tyler is. Is he still in his room? Well, it's spring break, so he's up late. Oh, so he's in his room. Yeah, gaming. sleeping. Did he stay late than, was later than me? I don't know. I know it was late last night when we all went to bed, so he's probably sleeping or watching cartoons, one or the other. <laughs> Do you guys think that makes us cool parents if we let our kids stay up on spring break, or is that just not good? <laughs> Are we bad parents or good parents? Because <laughs> we kind of like let them do what they want during spring break for the first couple days, and then we kind of put them back on a routine, but. You know, it's fun to get to do what you want sometimes too. I mean, spend the night, you don't 
go to bed right at 10. <laughs> well, no, that our kids, our kids work really, really hard. They get good grades in school. They do all kinds of sports competitions, and as much fun as it looks like we have, and we do have a lot of fun doing these YouTube videos, but it's a lot of work too. So we're just busy all the time, and when they get opportunities, we let them get rest because they deserve it. Yes. yes. All right, so we're heading out. How you feel now, Kayla? Tired. Tired. Yeah. So you got your IV and your you got your monitor there, so they're monitoring your heart. In one minute, you'll be awake again. <laughs> your lips getting stuck. Okay. When they blink, everything moves. Everything moves. Like when they blink, everything like shifts. <laughs> you blink and then everything just moves. Move. As soon as you blink, everything's moving. Like I, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna let you guys do your thing. Good job, how, Kayla. How long is it gonna take me to fall? Oh, how long is it gonna take me to fall asleep? Uh, I don't know. Any any second now, you're gonna go to sleep. But I gotta get out of the way because these people gotta get to work. Love you. Okay, so Kayla is now getting her procedure done. I just went out to the car for a second. They don't want me in the room while they're working on her, but I do want to stay in the facility while she's being worked on. Her wisdoms will be out in just a few minutes. It takes about actually one hour for the procedure to be completed, and then we'll see how she's doing. So she just made it out. She's still a little on the sleepy side. Sleepy girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kayla's a sleepy. She did really, really, really well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just rest. Sleepy girl. Just rest. Yeah, I can't talk to you right now. <coughs> Kayla says she wants Starbucks. <laughs> She's saying Starbucks. No, chocolate Chocolate milk? Hot chocolate milk. Did you guys hear that? She said, hot chocolate milk. I know she can't have really hot, and she knows she doesn't want really hot either. She just wants the room temp, kids temp. Kids temp hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. At the end, at the end you kept waking up? Yeah, I to sleep. And then you woke up? Did it feel like one minute? It felt like a while? Felt like 10 minutes. 10 minutes? No. 30. 30 minutes? You felt like it felt like 30 minutes? Yeah. Wow. 15 more like? Did you dream? No. No. It was kind of like you just took a quick nap. Back to sleep. You kept waking up and then going back to sleep? Yeah, they told me to go back to sleep. They told you to go back to sleep? Yeah. They said you slept through the whole thing. Maybe you were thinking that's what happened. <laughs> you can't feel your tongue. Yeah. yeah, you probably won't be able to feel your tongue for a little bit. It might be hard to drink some hot chocolate right now. It's too long. <laughs> Cheeks are numb? No, it's, it's like marshmallows. They feel like marshmallows? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing you have an interpreter. Waking up a little more? I can only feel my forehead. You can feel your forehead? I don't know the one. Oh, and my nose. You feel your nose? That's good. I can't feel here, or here, or here, or here. And my tongue is just doing something. Yeah. Do you want a video? Saying hi to your friends. Okay. I'm weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I just got all the sun takes out. I feel weird. <laughs> that was weird. I changed all the marshmallows and I can only feel my forehead. <laughs> and I want some check away. <laughs> so you've got some gauze in your mouth, so when you get home, you get to take it out. Okay. okay? Um, did you feel okay during the procedure? No pain? No, You're really good. You, you, after you got through with the IV, which is the worst part of it, you did fantastic. Awesome. You slept the whole time. See? So. He said you slept. I don't 
Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> she said it felt like 30 minutes and then it felt like 15. Yeah. She readjusted that's good. it. All right, so when you get home, um, icing your face is going to be the best thing for you for both pain and swelling. Okay, and when you feel like you have any discomfort, let your mom know and you can take some medicine as long as you take it with food. Okay? And I want to see you one time for a quick check in a couple of weeks, and then you're done. Yeah. They don't grow back, so you're all good. All right? Done forever. Get your wheel out to the car and go, you get to go home and go to bed, okay? Nice. Hey, let's see. You're gonna sleep when you get in the car. You'll fall right back to sleep again. You can do whatever you want. You can sleep right now. Lay your head down. You'll be fine. You're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> do you want chocolate? Don't be sad. I'm gonna bring the car around. Okay, I'm gonna bring the car around. So we're gonna roll you out right now so you can go to sleep. Say bye. <laughs> you don't have a tongue. I don't have lips. You have lips. You just can't feel them. You did really good. They said you did great. And the best part about it all is you never have to do that again. Isn't that awesome? Do you see my teeth? Is that what you see my teeth? Oh no, I don't have your teeth. Should we get go get them? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna back up. Let's go get your teeth. I get hot teeth. Yeah, that could fairy. be some big tooth fairy money there. I'm gonna get a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Yeah. Let's see, hopefully they, I know they still got to have your teeth. It's no way the tooth fairy. Hi Amy, it's Connie. I'm outside the front door. Kayla wants her teeth. I don't want this They're going to bring teeth. I oh, just leave that. Yeah, yeah leave it. Is it bugging you? Uh, I wonder if I have like a band-aid that would be easier. Let me look. They said that their teeth were all, um, they grinded them out so there's no real teeth to see. Four teeth. You didn't need them. 
No, you don't. You don't want those teeth. They were crowding. They would have made your front teeth all crooked again. Jig jaggedy. So you can get your braces off in a couple months without your teeth going crooked. That's cool, right? I know they're so happy to see you. I just switched out my gauze. Yeah, just switched out your gauze. How are you feeling now? You feel a little bit better? More awake? Yeah. I want to go to the beach. you crazy! Just keeps licking and licking. Ugh. I wasn't gone for that long. <laughs> well, I've been gone for two hours. Yeah, the time goes by fast. You started at 12:30 and then you were done by 1:30. Really? Yeah, isn't that weird? I did an hour and well, a half. Well, it took us longer than that because yeah. we were sitting after the procedure. You had to sit there and wake up for a little bit, and then really? yeah. How long was that out? Uh, about an hour. But then you had to wake up, and then we went to Starbucks drive through and got you chocolate that you can't have yet. And then we came home, and you kind of fell asleep on the couch. I don't remember. You don't remember going to Starbucks? No, I don't remember Starbucks. I don't remember. I don't remember waiting that long too. You remember sitting in the chair talking to me? No. In the wheelchair? No, you don't remember talking, me talking to you in the wheelchair, waiting to get to the car? No, I don't remember talking to you in the wheelchair. You look a lot better now, more awake. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Do you feel dizzy? You feel dizzy? It's not as bad, but when I walk, it's dizzy. Yeah, you probably want to sit for a little bit longer. Hershey didn't help. Hershey didn't help at all. <laughs> Dad said that they would sense that she was like hurting, but Hershey was like. <laughs> <laughs> well, she doesn't look hurt. She's just kind of out of it. Hershey's calm now. Yeah. She's very really calm. <laughs> Hershey knows. Well, Daddy went to go get you some Tylenol, and then when he gets home, you can have that. So Kayla's. Got a little bit of chocolate on her shirt there. She tried to drink her chocolate. And my lip is still numb, so I didn't know that I was drinking, and then she- It just went down her shirt. She wasn't able to drink it. I'm drinking wonton soup without the wontons, so that's a thing. I'm having my frappuccino. She's got a cotton candy frappuccino and cotton some chocolate. Because that's not what I can have. <laughs> well, we're working on it. Daddy's at the store picking up some more stuff, but Kayla's able to, uh, Spoon feed herself. So and the bleeding has stopped. So yeah. for now at least. She said yep. that it'll go off and on. Yeah. yeah. So now she's working on getting some energy because you haven't eaten since like midnight last night. So it's yeah. been whew, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours since you've had any food or water. Do you want a bowl with water in it so you can spoon in some water? Sure. <laughs> I like this though, this is my favorite. How are you feeling? Um, this one, this side's aching. I don't know why, but the rest of them are fine and I still can't feel my lip or my chin. And yeah. So. And I feel dizzy, like barely dizzy, but I feel dizzy when I walk. So, gotta so, be careful. Keep an eye on her. Okay, so I just got back from the store and we got all of the, the necessities. Ooh, I thought you might like that. We got all the necessities. These are the things that Kayla can yes. have in a couple days. Uh, is she allowed to have that? Did it say it, that on the list? It, didn't, it did not say it, but it, it's, it said soft, squishy food. So maybe not on day one, day. maybe on yeah, day two or three. For the second day, she said I could have squishy foods like breads and things. Like uh, they, it, the list says not bread. 
but really, she said she said on day two that I can have softer things like sandwiches and meatloaf, and okay. I've never had meatloaf. <laughs> it's like a big giant hamburger patty, it is? <laughs> pretty much. <yeah. laughs> but anyways, we got all kinds of yogurts, Yogurt. different flavors. I got strawberry and banana, and I think there's a cherry one in here. And we got Jello. Who doesn't love Jello? I'm oh excited about that. Yeah. And I got three different kinds of pudding. And lots of Gatorade. Lots of Gatorade just for you. And payments. And well, it's not. It's just Tylenol. Tylenol. Yeah. <laughs> she should only need about you know two or three days worth of food, but I think I got like a month's worth just in case. <laughs> Something tells me Tyler's probably gonna want to dip into some of this too. So yeah. I figured if I got some extra, then that makes you know, sense. Then maybe we can, I will run out. We can. Uh, <laughs> I call it the Tyler Factor, right? All of this is for Kayla, but the Tyler Factor is going to reduce the amount that she actually gets. So. Yeah. She does not need like... And the store is like 10 minutes, minutes away, so there's oh, no way we'll ever be able to get any more. So. Yeah. Well, you guys saw Kayla's experience with getting her wisdoms taken out. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was, I was scared for the IV and it kind of did hurt a, a little bit, but it was only like a pinch and I was kind of over it. I don't remember when I fell asleep. I just remember the IV and then watching the Megan Trainer videos. <laughs> and then I don't remember. I wasn't even thinking about falling asleep. I had a really weird dream too. I had a dream that I kept waking up in the middle of the surgery and they kept telling me to go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, they said she slept through the whole thing, so it was just something so, that she envisioned. <laughs> what would you say to anybody out there that might be getting their wisdom teeth pulled? If you gave them like, don't what? don't freak out because it's really just like taking a nap. Like they give you they give they put a shot in your arm and then you take a nap and that's it. And then you wake up and your everything's good, right? You don't even feel anything after. So it's not that big. I thought deal. I thought I was gonna have like a headache and I wouldn't be able to see straight. But I was like perfectly fine. I just woke up and like, oh, hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> so. So cool. So anybody out there that is going to be having their wisdom teeth pulled out soon. Don't worry about it. Not a big deal. It's just not. do what the doctor tells you to do and it's all right, right? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Right. You rock. You guys did, you did so good, Kayla. Yay. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. My chin's still numb. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, who else should they share it with? With people, uh, people that are getting their wisdom teeth pulled, yes. so that they're not, they don't freak out about it, because it's, it's really not that big of a deal, and until next time, bye. -bye.